Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. So today we're going to be taking a look at setting up our very own Rust server. So I have already done a video on this but a few people are getting a little bit confused so this time I'm going to try and make it as clear as possible. So starting from the first step we need to go onto our C drive so open up file explorer and then go to your c drive so from here we now need to right click and we need to create a new folder this folder needs to be called steam and then cmd so that is steam all lowercase and then cmd is capitals so we're going to hit ok and we're just going to go to that folder now. So it's in our C drive and it's Steam and then in capital CMD. So that is very important, that part. In the last video, I didn't make that so clear. So I believe a couple of people are getting a little bit confused. So from there, we now need to go back to our web browser. And we now need to scroll up to the very top of the page. Or if you've only just opened up this web page, then you should be here anyway. So, yeah, you need to go to the link that's in the description. And we're going to download this zip file. And we're going to go save. So we are now going to open up this zip file. And you should have a .exe in there called steamcmd. We're simply going to drag this to that steamcmd folder. And now all you need to do is run that file. Okay, so just for safety, we're going to right click and we're going to go run as administrator. And it's just going to do a couple of bits now, which shouldn't take too long, as you can see. And there we go, I think. Okay. There we go, I think it's done now. Yeah, so we're gonna go allow access. And that is it. So that is the first part done. So that that is pretty much straightforward. So we've just gone to our web browser, we've downloaded this file, and we've put it into the Steam CMD folder. So we now need to close this.exe, and the next step is so that lets me close there we go right so the next step is to create a bat file so we're going to right click and we're going to go new text document and we're just going to open up this text document so we're going to open it up in notepad and you now need to copy the text that's in the description below so you will have that there, okay? So C backslash Steam CMD, blah, 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 okay? So basically what we're telling it to do now is um, basically download all the files for our Rust server. So if you don't want the Rust server to be installed on your C drive, but onto another drive like I do, you can actually change the C here to the drive letter of your choice so I want it to go on my D drive so I've just changed that to D so we're now going to go file save as and we're in the state staying in the same folder on our C drive steam CMD we're now going to call this um, uh, you can call it whatever you want to be honest so let's just call this um, Let's see. Um, I don't actually know. Download Rust. That do. So download Rust, and we're going to go dot bat. So download Rust dot bat, and we're going to select all files. Okay, that's very important there. Save as type all files. So download Rust dot bat. Make sure you put the dot bat. So we're going to go save now, and we're going to close that file down. And right here, you can see download rust.bat. So this is a little batch file that we're going to run now. So we're going to right click 
and we're going to go run as administrator this can take a little while so i'm actually going to fast forward the video because what this is about to do is download all the files for our rust server okay so we're going to go run as administrator and we're going to let this run so depending on how fast your internet is depends on how long this process is going to take so i'm going to fast forward the video now okay so once that's all finished downloading you now need to go to either your c drive or the other hard drive that you've decided to install your rust server to and go to your rust server folder so if i go to my d drive as you can see there is a rust server folder so you need to go into that and you now need to right click and go new and text document and we're just going to open that text document with notepad so you now need to copy all the text that's under the second bat file instruction below and you should hopefully have all this text there so at echo of cls start rust dedicated dot exe okay so this is all the text that we need now and you can change your host name so we could name that computer sluggish if we want and you can change the identity of your server if you want as well so i can just change that to cs and that's about it that will do for now so you now need to go file save as and you need to go and you need to go onto all files and we're just going to call this start server dot bat okay so that's very important to make sure you've got dot bat on the end and you've got save as type on all files as we are creating a bat file now so you're going to go save and we're just going to close that now so here you've got a start server dot bat file now you're just going to double click that and as you can see it says starting server so this is what we want this is this is the part that starts our server so every time you want to load your server you will open up this file so just wait for that to load and once it's loaded we can jump straight into our rust game which i've already loaded up down the bottom there as you can see and we are going to connect to our server so this this doesn't take too long to load to be honest but i'm going to actually fast forward the video to it's loaded okay so once that's all loaded you now need to go into your rust game so i've got mine up here in a window mode as you can see and you now need to go f1 to open up the console system and you simply need to type in connect and then space 127.0.0.1 and then we're going to do the two little dots next to your l on the keyboard and you're going to go 28015 okay so i will put that in the description below as well just in case you didn't quite get that and we're going to hit enter and fingers crossed we should now be connecting to our server so just wait for that to load i am going to fast forward this video bit as well because you don't want to sit there waiting for all this to load okay and now all you need to press is f1 to get rid of the console and there you go we are now in our very own rust server so it's as easy as that so as you can see on the left hand side it does say there um that i have connected as well so i'll just quickly show you that so there you are monster socks has joined so yeah i hope this tutorial helped if it did then hit the like button below and i hope it wasn't too confusing and I will get on and do a Oxide server setup very soon. So yeah, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.